Novel. Oh, sweet. So, here's the box. And just as a disclaimer, this is not the retail box. Um, the retail box is probably going to be a little bit more fancier. But I really do like the fact that they have this nice image here. And if you guys see Narwhal, the cool feature about this guy is it has the self-washing mopping system. And I'm super excited to try that out. I just can't wait. Um, saw a lot of cool videos on it. And I did do a video just kind of showcasing what it's all about. But getting a hands-on experience is something that will definitely allow me to Fully investigate what this guy's all about. All right, let's go and uh, get this guy opened up. And uh, what? What's my instructions? There's no instructions. You see that, guys? I don't have an instruction manual. Sad day. Uh, wow, that was like a cool frisbee. Makes a really cool hat, I think. I don't know. Get out of there, hat. Whew. Whoa, don't hit me. Well, it looks bigger than what I saw in the videos. Uh, but this is cool. It's a uh, Docking station, it's a washing station as well. So um, there's some mopping pads here. So there's like a plastic plate. Uh, the mopping pad just spins around here, scrapes off of there. The dirty debris gets down in here. And there's actually a vacuum, which will suck up the dirty water. Fresh water tank. And you also have a, a dirty water tank as well. So very, very cool. What do you guys think? Uh, not a round robot. It's not a square robot. It's a more of a rounded square robot if that makes sense, but sweet. There's the docking station. I can't wait to see how well the system works. And let's see what else is included in this little goodie box. It's two additional side brushes. So that's cool. Let's check out the top here. Um, what is this? Is this like a mask or something? Yeah, I could probably wear this. It's sweet. I'm gonna keep this. So I went for Halloween. I could be like a scary ghost or something. All right. So here's this unique system. Uh, this actually is the, uh, what do you call this? The sweepers, or the side brushes. Swapping. So you can't do uh, mopping and vacuum at the same time. Uh, you just swap out the, the two modules here. So very, very nice. Let's see what else is included. Looks like we got some magnetic strip. And we have the extra side brushes. We got our power cables for the docking station. And luckily, one nice thing that Narwhal thought of was I do have a uh, converter plug right here. So this does support the 100 to 240 volts, so sweet. Now I don't have to go and invest in a $5 uh, prong adapter, they include that. And you got some extra filters. These are water filters, so sweet. And that's everything in the foamy thing. Hey guys. Today I'm going to show you how Narvel self-cleaning works and what a good job it does. This guy just cleaned our house. So as you can see, the mops are pretty... This is the mop we just washed. This is the one we left behind. If you ask me, there's quite a distinction. Hey guys, alright, so I'm super excited to try out the mopping system. I got the mopping plates, they're brand new. So we'll see how well uh, the cleaning system keeps these mopping pads nice and fresh. Alright, so I did go ahead and fill up this with uh, warm water. You can use warm or cold water. And there is a little warning to use uh, Nawal's detergent. Uh, just because some harsh chemicals could damage the system, you don't want that to eat away the hoses and stuff. So Nawal will provide some cleaning solution. So the first thing you do is open up this vacuum lid. And there's actually a dirty water tank right here. And there's a little uh, sensor that once the water level rises, it actually shuts off. So you can't overflow the system, which is a nice plus. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, put in the water here. It just drops right in. And once you have it in, just close the flappy lid. Now, to get the mopping pads installed, just press this button here to wake up the machine. And press again to uh, recall the robot. Or to have it come out. Please keep the space clear. Okay, so the robot's out, so I can go ahead and just flip the robot over. And what you can do is you can actually remove this plate here, starting from the top, comes off, it's held on by a band-aid or something. And now we can just put on these uh, mopping plates. Should just snap right in. And then there's the other one. Very cool. 
So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna tell it to go back to the docking station and then we'll select the room to actually uh, mop. Returning home. The robot is in the base station. Okay, let's go ahead and select my kitchen and we'll see how well this mopping system works. Start mopping. Down here we have a piece that we call the washboard. When the cleaning station starts, clean water is drawn from the blue tank, goes all the way down here and sprays through these holes up against the mops. And the mops rotates and rub against the ribs to clean themselves. The dirty water drain through the holes on the bottom and is drawn into the brown tank. That's how it works. Well, it's fairly quiet. Um, I could talk over this. What it's doing is pre-wetting the mopping pad and uh, getting them nicely wet. And it's also scraping against the uh, plastic base plate as well. And there's a little indicator saying it's washing. Um, I don't know how long the process takes, probably about a minute or so. Alright, let's go ahead and look at the operation of this guy. Um, it's very similar to how most robot vacuums navigate. Start with the perimeter strip first, trying to get along the edges, and then we'll fill in that perimeter with the back and forth cleaning pattern. Now, one thing to note is how quiet it was. I was able to run this at night without disturbing anyone. Since the vacuum motor isn't being running, the only thing you're going to hear is the motors of the drive wheels and also the spinning uh, little mopping pads. It was able to go around obstacles without any issues and able to navigate effectively. Okay, so it looks like it's done. So you can go ahead and head back to the docking station. All right, hold on one second. Paused. Please press the start button to wash the mop. Okay, let's just check out the mopping pads here. See how dirty they are. I'll have this guy uh, clean and we'll see if it uh, gets all this dirt off. Returning home for washing. Mopping complete, start to dry the mop. Okay, let's see how well it does. Let's start with the fresh water tank. So this ran in my kitchen about twice. So it looks like it's about uh, maybe two thirds full. Now let's check the dirty water tank. Here's the dirty water tank. Uh, looks like it's pretty dirty there. Some uh, minor uh, dust and everything. Now let's check the uh, mopping pads, they should be very clean. 
Well, what do you guys think? I think it did a pretty good job. There's still some minute uh, dirt on that. Get you guys a good look there. So for the most part, I think it did a pretty good job. Uh, probably as good as any uh, self-washing uh, robot. So there's not a lot out there, but I think I'm pretty happy with uh, the cleaning performance so far. Returning home. The robot is in the base station. Goodbye, Nala. Have a good night. See you later. Whoa! I got this perfect spot for my uh, Nala robot right next to Timmy. I guess they're going to be best buds now. Okay, so I went ahead and got the docking station all plugged in. It's ready to go. Now let's go ahead and boot up the robot and we'll pair up to the smartphone. It's a pretty simple process. I'll walk you through it. And it does support iPhone and Android. So. The robot I was like, where in the world is the power switch? I couldn't figure it out. I thought it was underneath the robot. I thought it was in the front to the side. I couldn't figure it out. So I decided to open up this flappy lid here. There we go. There's that hidden power switch right there. So all you have to do is just hold it down for a few seconds. And you see this cool blue indicator. I really like that. What is that? Neon blue or something? So that's a really cool color. And within a few seconds, it should start doing a happy dance. Uh, listen to this, guys. This is pretty cool. Whoa! The robot is starting up. Please use when the white indicator light keeps on. What's that flappy lid here? All right, so what you have to do next is find the QR code. It's in the instructions. Or you can find it on the box and you can just launch a fancy camera app and it should be able to launch the website and then the app. The app is called Narwhal. I already have it installed so let's go and jump into it. And if you're new to the account, you do have to provide a valid uh, phone to correct region. It will send a valid uh, SMS or a text message verification and then you're good to go. Click that plus icon. The robot's already booted up so yes, I confirmed the operation. And now we're going to go and hold down the play pause button and the power button simultaneously. We'll do that for a few seconds. Prepare for connection. Please follow the instructions on app. All right, so we did that confirmation. Now we're going to go and put in my Wi-Fi password. Does support the 2.4 gigahertz networks. Does not support 5 gigahertz, so just keep that in mind. All right, I'll go put my password in. So once you got the password in, just go and click next. And now the robot vacuum should start pairing. What it's going to do is connect directly to the smartphone, to the robot, and then to the robot, to the actual uh, server or your Wi-Fi network. This is some fancy stuff. I don't know exactly how the data transfer is working. It just works like magic. Good afternoon, Robot Masters. Sweet. That's awesome. We're in standby. Let's go and uh, jump into the main home screen here. I'll go ahead and uh, go over the app later on, but it looks like everything's connected and we should be uh, good to go here. Okay, so it looks like we've got everything all set up. Um, there's actually a uh, home button and a play pause button. So if I hold down the home button for about two seconds or so, it'll actually start creating a map. Start mapping. Please clear obstacles on the floor and keep doors open. Okay, so here's where Nawa's excellent navigation and algorithms blew every other robot vacuum with LiDAR out of the water. Notice how it maps out the floor plan. It goes through each room, spins about a minute or so, and then moves on to the next. This process was super quick, and for this demonstration, it took about 7 minutes, but for my entire 2500 square foot home, it took about 30 minutes, yes, 30 minutes to map out my entire house, where other robot vacuums take about an hour to an hour and a half, because they actually do an entire cleaning run, and the downside to that is, Sometimes larger floor plans, they run out of value before they can actually cover the entire area. But with the Narwhal, you can effectively make a large home or map out a large home without worrying about running out of battery, and it's super quick. Well, what do you guys think about the Narwhal so far? Is it something that you plan on getting? Uh, guess what guys, they're coming to the US. Yes, in a few months, they'll be here locally, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, great for us because I always wanted to get a Narwhal, but it was kind of hard to uh, get overseas, especially after the Kickstarter. 
but Nawa is ramping up production and they're gonna have a customer service here as well so that's gonna be great they're gonna provide accessories and any uh help that you need so um i think for now as my initial thoughts i think the now is a pretty cool mopping robot i am going to do additional testing with the vacuuming part also do some mopping challenges but i felt like the navigation has been pretty good um they are actively improving the software adding new features and i'll keep you guys updated but notice how easily it was able to transition over my raw mats and if you look in the front of the robot, you know, it's like the new, uh, what are they, D-shaped uh, silver contacts. Yes, that's the charging pins. Very unique design. Never seen a well, vacuum charge from the front like that um, with the charging pins on the front of the robot. Usually they're underneath the robot, but that's just an interesting thing I noticed about the Narwhal. Okay, so it looks like it's done mapping out my floor plan. It's going to go ahead and return back to its docking station. So this little guy loves to explore my home. I tried to block off this area with a camera stand, but he was too smart. He was able to get over it. So I had to take drastic measures. So I grabbed my plush carrot and threw it at him. Hopefully this will block Nawa from getting behind my couch. Uh, we'll see if the super carrot can uh, block him off. Yep, looks like he was able to get defeated by the carrot. So maybe someday Nawa can uh, overcome the super plush carrot. But for now, uh, the Nawa is going to go back to his docking station and charge up. Complete. Remapping is required if you move the base.